here's what we do know. It, this virus did not originate in the Wuhan animal market. Epidemiologists who are widely respected from China who have published a study in the International Journal of the Lancet have demonstrated that several of the original cases did not have any contact with that food market. The virus went into that food market before it came out of that food market. So we don't know where it originated, but we do know that we have to get to the bottom of that. We also know that just a few miles away from that food market is China's only biosafety level four super laboratory that in researches human infectious diseases. Now, we don't have evidence that this disease originated there, but because of China's du duplicity and dishonesty from the beginning, we need to at least ask the question to see what the evidence says. And China right now is not giving any evidence on that question at all. So, so this super lab that you refer to, this super lab is the only one of its kind in this area, in Wuhan, in the province, uh, th that, that area. And, and what do they do at the super lab? It's unclear, Maria. Uh, we have such laboratories ourselves in the United States run by our military in large part done for preventative purposes or trying to discover vaccines or to protect our own soldiers. China is obviously very secretive about what happens at the Wuhan laboratory. We don't know, again, where this virus originated. That's why it's so important that we at least ask the questions and get the evidence. But China continues to block our ability to ask those questions. Burden of proof right now now is on the Chinese Communist Party and the ambassador uh, of China and his fellow communists. They have lied consistently about this virus from the beginning, so we should not take their word at face value. By consistently lying to its own people and to the world, they have created a situation where we have not been able to take the preventative measures that we might have, and we have not been able to err on the side of caution. Tell me what the downplaying of this has done. In other words, the Chinese knew about the coronavirus back in November of 2019. They proceeded to send a delegation to the White House to shake everybody's hand to do a phase one China deal. They sent the largest ever delegation to Davos at the end of January. Do you think the downplaying of this virus virus has actually exacerbated it. Oh, there's no doubt about that, Maria. You know, the first cases indicated in early December, which meant they were transmitted sometime in November. China finally fessed up to the WHO on December 31st. If they had t taken action weeks earlier, not only might their own people have been better protected, but the entire world might have been better protected. This is just a pattern of Chinese dishonesty from the very beginning, which continues to this very day. Just a few days ago, we went from a situation where they were reporting only a couple hundred more cases or maybe a thousand more cases a day to almost 14,000 cases in a single day. That wasn't the result of any scientific discovery. That was a political decision to finally reveal what they knew to be true, yet they are still covering up in all likelihood the number of cases and deaths from coronavirus inside of China. A new report published by some Chinese scientists say COVID-19 might not have come from the fish market in Wuhan as initially believed, but from a research facility nearby. As our Kim Yosun reports, they're still doing more research, however, to add to their findings. Amid the continued spread of the COVID-19 virus, there's rising speculation the virus could have originated from a government laboratory in Wuhan, rather than the widely held belief that it emerged from the city's Huanan seafood markets. Citing a report published by Chinese scientists, a Chinese-language newspaper published in Hong Kong, Ming Pao, and the British daily The Mirror, explained Sunday that the Wuhan Center for Disease Control, or WHCDC, could have spawned the contagion in Hubei province. According to the report penned by Bo Tao Xiao and Lei Xiao of the South China University of Technology, the research lab, which is only 280 meters away from the Huanan Seafood Market, kept disease-ridden animals, including more than 600 bats. It's stated that while it's plausible the virus was leaked from the lab and contaminated initial patients in this epidemic, more solid evidence is required through future study. The report also raised the possibility that the Wuhan Institute of Virology could have leaked the virus while it was carrying out tests involving Chinese horseshoe bats. Against such a backdrop, an article published by the Washington Times late last month is garnering attention as it raised the possibility that the disastrous outbreak could be the accidental result of biological weapons research.
This comes as a renowned law professor at Tsinghua University in Beijing, Xu Jianren, is known to be missing after publicly condemning Chinese President Xi Jinping for failing to contain the spread of the virus at an early stage. He even added the condemnation could be the last message of his life. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News. Recently, a 2018 Chinese TV segment has sparked discussion online. Chen Hu, a former official at China's thrill to a military hospital, talking about the possibility of using gene editing to create a super virus. It does seem to me that the uh, Wuhan BSL-4 uh, is the source of the uh, coronavirus, yes. And uh, my guess is that uh, they were researching uh, SARS uh, and they weaponized it further by giving it uh, gain of fu- gain of function uh, properties, which means it could be more lethal. And indeed, the uh, latest report now is it's uh, 15% fatality rate, which is more than uh, SARS, and 83% infection rate. So a uh, typical gain of function, uh, it, it travels in the air. So it could reach out maybe six feet or more from someone uh, emitting a sneeze uh, or a cough. Uh, Likewise, uh, this is uh, a specially designated uh, WHO research lab. So the WHO was in on it and they knew full well what was going on there. Yes, it's also been reported that Chinese scientists uh, stole coronavirus uh, materials from the Canadian lab at uh, Winnipeg. Winnipeg uh, is Canada's foremost center for research, developing, testing, biological warfare weapons. Uh, It's along the lines of uh, Fort Detrick uh, here in the United States of America. And yeah, I I have three degrees from Harvard. Would not surprise me if uh, (laughs) something was being stolen out of Harvard. Uh, to to turn over to China. I, I read that report. I don't know what was in those vials one way or the other. But the bottom line is, uh, I my opinion is, uh, and I drafted the U.S. domestic implementing legislation for the Biological Weapons Convention that was approved unanimously by both houses of the United States Congress, signed into law by President Bush Sr., that uh, it appears the uh, uh, coronavirus that we're dealing with here is an offensive biological warfare weapon that leaked out of that uh, Wuhan BSL-4. I'm not saying uh, it, it was done deliberately, but there have been previous reports of uh, problems with that lab and things leaking out of it. And I, I'm afraid that is uh, what we are dealing with today. The Chinese government under uh, Xi and his uh, comrades there have been covering this up from the get-go. The first reported case was December 1. So they've been sitting on this until they couldn't anymore. And everything uh, they're telling you is a lie, it's propaganda. The WHO still refuses to declare a uh, global health emergency. Its head Tedros was over there shaking hands with Xi and uh, smiling and yucking it up. The WHO is in on it, they've approved many of these uh, BSL-4 labs, they know exactly what's going on. And that is a WHO uh, research to prove laboratory. So they know what's going on too. So you can't really believe anything the uh, WHO is telling you about this. Uh, either they're up to their eyeballs in it, in my opinion. This tweet from a Chinese government spokesperson claiming that the U.S. Army brought the virus to Wuhan. So Americans have allowed uh, Israel to colonize them and raid them and rape and pillage them. And this UN, UANI group is just one of the, the many Israel pressure groups running United States foreign policy. It's completely, it's just an outrage. And now they're trying to amplify 
the uh, plague of coronavirus in Iran, which one suspects that they themselves may have actually engineered, because otherwise, how could an Israeli company claim that they'll have a, uh, a uh, vaccine against coronavirus in less than two weeks, when all scientists say that if there's a novel outbreak like this, it would take at least a year to have a vaccine. A recent article by former CIA officer Philip Giraldi uh, sug suggests that this is probably uh, U.S. and Israel working together, uh, the same people who used Stuxnet against Iran, endangering uh, the nuclear facilities not only in Iran but all over the world because it got loose and nearly created horrible nuclear accidents all over the world, and apparently now they've done the same thing with this coronavirus. Uh, Philip Giraldi's article is called Who Made Coronavirus? Was it the U.S., Israel, or China itself? And he uh, strongly suspects the U.S. and Israel, uh, with China being America's biggest geostrategic antagonist and Iran being Israel's biggest problem. The head of Iran Civil Defense, Brigadier General Rolam Reza Jalali, just said the same thing. He said this looks like a biological warfare attack against Iran and China. And a new study uh, coming out of China from uh, Tongji University in Shanghai entitled Single Cell RNA Expression Profiling of ACE2, the putative receptor of Wuhan 2019 coronavirus, shows that this virus has been engineered to target East, target East Asians, and presumably a version of it has been perhaps released and developed by the Israelis to target Iranians. So we are seeing biological warfare on a massive scale. The United States is a country that has been waging biological warfare on and off ever since it exterminated Native Americans by giving them smallpox blankets. During the Korean War, the United States dropped literally hundreds of thousands of bombs bearing plague, diphtheria, and other diseases on China and North Korea and uh, covered it up, um, and the book This Must Be the Place uh, gives the details on that. The United States uh, waged biological warfare against its own Congress in 2001 with the anthrax component of the 9-11 anthrax false flag operation, which terrorized Tom Daschle and Patrick Leahy, uh, the leaders of the movement to block the Patriot Act, uh, into giving up and allowing the Patriot Act. So the United States is run by, uh, by lunatics, by psychopaths who are entirely capable of launching World War III by way of a biological warfare attack on China and Iran with the Iran component presumably led by Israel. That's uh, the most likely explanation for what we're seeing. And in that context, this move by these uh, Israel lobbies that are presumably behind this biological warfare attack and this launching of what could become World War III are pressuring the United States to try to help this plague spread in Iran as much as possible by preventing Iran from getting any of the medicines and medical equipment that it would need to fight this virus. And the United States is pursuing this kind of policy right now. They, Trump has not allowed medical equipment and supplies to go through to Iran. A number of interesting developments here in the United States and in China suggest that there is something very strange going on regarding the coronavirus and the U.S. government. We are now hearing from uh, the Chinese government itself, as well as from Chinese social media, which is normally restricted. Um, but in this case, it actually seems that people are being encouraged to pose the same kinds of questions that we just heard from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesman, uh, Geng Shuang, who suggested that the United States military brought coronavirus to China. Here in the United States, the National Security Council, under direct orders from the White House, has sealed the top emergency meetings on this topic and classified them. Only people with top secret clearances have been allowed to participate, which rules out most of the medical experts who should have been there. So putting these two facts together, first, that the rumors on Chinese social media that were already very widespread uh, a month ago or more and now have gotten the official stamp of approval that the coronavirus outbreak was an act of biological warfare by the United States, this seems to be becoming the official position of the Chinese government. And that is quite concerning because if indeed 
the uh, U.S. government or its allies or out-of-control rogue agencies within it did, in fact, uh, whether deliberately, as is the most likely possibility, or accidentally, or some combination thereof, perhaps a clumsy effort by someone outside of the normal chain of command, whatever the uh, truth is about this, this could set off a an escalation that could easily lead to World War III. But Iran has apparently been targeted with its top leaders targeted for uh, perhaps an especially virulent strain of coronavirus. All of this does suggest a biowarfare component, or at least that possibility. And the fact that uh, Trump's people have classified their meetings, that there is a complete lack of transparency here on this topic, is, is very, very worrisome. باید با آزمایشگاه مختلف تر از سه گذاشتیم جنبندی کردیم هم 24 هم هم قبلش و هیچ کدام از آزمایشگاه رفرنس کشور وجود بیماری کرونا رو در داخل کشور تایید نمی کرد مفهوم وضعیت سفید این بوده که در واقع بیماری به صورت رسمی تایید نشده ممکنه جایی باشه ولی ما نتونستیم تشخیص داده باشیم سنا آقای جلالی در خصوص بیوتروریستی بودن ویروس کرونا شایبه های بسیاری مطرح شده نظر سازمان پدافند غیر عامل در این باره چیه؟ به صورت قاطع نمیشه گفت که جنگ بیولوژیک هست ولی بخش زیادی از شرد و بیجگی هاشو داره که باید زمان بدنیم تا بشه تکمیل کرد پس یک نظری که به هر حال قرینه به صحت هست و اون چیزی که حالا میفرمایید این که شرایط و بیجگی ها رو داره این هستش که جنگ بیولوژیک میتونه باشه بخش زیادی از ویژگی های جنگی بیولوژیک رو داره حتی اگر که چین یا آمریکا یا اروپایی ها رو هم تحت تاثیر قرار داده ببینید یه نقشه اینجا وجود داره که آزمایشگاه دوربین بگیرید که آزمایشگاه بیولوژیک امریکا در کل منطقه اطراف ما هست که بین ایران دور ایران و روسیه و چین هست حدود 25 تا آزمایشگاه سطح 4 اینجا هست که در واقع قابلیت آنالیز و بررسی ویروس های این دست از ویروس های خطرناک و در واقع در ویروس نوپدید و ویروس های ایربورد رو داره اینجا بنابراین این قابلیت میتونه به ما بشه بده که اون کدام کشور هست که این قابلیت داره البته تو دنیا روسیه و چین همین قابلیت ها رو دارن نه که فقط امریکا ولی این گسترش آزمایشگاه امریکایی دوربر ما هست که معلوم میشه کجا هست و چه اقداماتی اونجا میتونه انجام کسی هم روشون نظراتی نداره أعتقد أنها ليست صدفة بل أعتقد أن الفيروس مختار جدا يصل إلى البلدان التي تعتبر خصوم الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية الصين، إيران، بعض بلدان الاتحاد الأوروبي بما في ذلك إيطاليا يعتقد الكثيرون أن هناك ميول للروسيا كثيرة وفي هذه البلدان نرى عدد المصابين أكثر لا أعتقد أن هذا عبارة عن مصادفة إنما هذه هي الخطة عند النخب العالمية نعم الحكومة العالمية هذا هو المصطلح الصائب على الأقل هم يسمون نفسهم لم ينتخبهم أحد إلى هناك لكنهم هذا ما يعتقدونهم عن أنفسهم الأسر المئتان التي لديها أربعون تريليون دولار يعتقدون أنهم أهم من في هذه الأرض ويملكون أغلب وسائل الإعلام وهم يصورون أفلام هوليوود مثل الجائحة أي أنهم يسيطرون على عقول البشرية ويطرحون فكرة أن البشرية يجب تقليصها إلى عشر عددها الحالي هل فعلا يمكن إنتاج أسلحة بيولوجية موجهة إلى أمة معينة أو قومية معينة تصيبها ولا تصيب قوما آخر يعني هنالك حديث حتى عن أن الإسرائيليين هكذا يفكرون أو أنتجوا شكلا من أشكال السلاح البيولوجي الذي يقتل الفلسطينيين ولكنه لا يؤذي السكان الإسرائيلي الآخرين هل هذا صحيح ممكن؟
هذه الحديث موجودة أعرف أنه منذ بضع سنوات حدث وباء غريب ليس في أفريقيا بل في جزيرة مدغشقر الطاعون الرئوي أنه أمر فظيع لم يكن يقتل إلا المحليين ولكنه لم يصب السياح الأوروبيين ولا حتى العرق الأصفر هناك طبعا أسلحة مثل إيبولا وإنفلونزا الطيور وفيروس كورونا الذي يصيب الصينيين الآن أكثر والشعوب الآسيوية الأخرى هذه الأسلحة موجودة أي في التاسع والتسعين وضع الأمريكان مهمة نصب أعيمهم وجورج تينت رئيس السي اي اي حين ذاك إلى الرئيس كلينتون قالوا أنهم سينشئون عوامل ممرضة ستؤثر نوعيا على أعراق دون غيرها وها قد مضى عشرون سنة وجاء وقت التجارب المدانية ويبدو أن كوكب الأرض كله تحول إلى حقل تجارب بل أقول أكثر من ذلك أن البلدان الأنجلو ساكسونية عمليا قدمت انذارا بيولوجيا لجميع البلدان غير الناطقة بالانجليزية إما تعيشون وفق القوانين التي نفرضها عليكم أم أنكم لن تعيشوا على هذا الكوكب إما نقتلكم بسرعة أو نقتلكم ببطء بس هل تعتقد أن اليوم, اليوم نعم جزء من الحروب ال المعاصرة اليوم بالأمراض بالحروب الجرثومية الجرثومية إيه فليش بدنا نستبعد هذا الموضوع مكرمة هيك عم بسألك هل إيه؟ تعتقد أنه أساس هذا هذه الجرثومة أو هذا الفيروس هو مؤامرة على الصين ما, ما عندي معلومات ما عندي معلومات ما عندي يقين بهذا الموضوع بس م. أنا لا أستبعد نتيجة هذا الاحتدام الشرس بين الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية وبين الصين أنه نعم تلجأ الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية إلى مثل هذه ال الوسائل الخبيثة في إرجاع أو عرقلة الصين من تصدر المشهد العالمي اقتصاديا في العام 2025 نحن كلنا نعرف أنه بالعام 2025 الصين ستكون في المرتبة الأولى اقتصاديا وستتراجع قوة أمريكا الاقتصادية هل هذا الفيروس هو نوع من المواجهة مع الصين لإنزالها عن صدارتها أو لعرقلة الوصول إلى هذه الصدارة ما عندي جواب لكن هذا سؤال مشروع هناك علماء كبار أكدوا هذا المفهوم بما في ذلك العالم البيولوجي الروسي السيد إيغور الذي أكد أن هذا الأمر غير طبيعي وهناك علماء كذلك حتى في الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية يقولون أن هذه هذه الفيروسات ليست طبيعية وليست بشرية وإنما مختبرية كانت في السابق تنتشر في الحيوانات الوحشية لكن هذا الفيروس وتركيبته حسب ما أثبتت بعض التقارير المختبرية أنه غير بشري وهذا يمكن أن يكون قد طور في مختبرات خطيرة تستخدم في الحرب الجرثومية ولا ننسى أن أمريكا طبعا هددت ضرب مناطق ثقافية قبل ذلك على لسان الرئيس ترامب ونرى اليوم أن ووهان الصينية هي مدينة ثقافية ومدينة حضارية وليست صناعية ولا تجارية وكذلك مدينة قم المقدسة وهي مدينة ثقافية ودينية بامتياز أنا أعتقد أن هناك ربما استهداف لبعض الشخصيات كذلك الآن قبل قليل انتشر خبر حول وفاة حسين شيخ الإسلام الله يرحمه مساعد وزير الخارجية ودبلوماسي قديم وكذلك بعض الشخصيات التي نراها في البرلمان ومقربة من المرشد الأعلى وفي بعض المؤسسات المهمة وربما ستنال الإعلاميين منهم نحن نحن كذلك الآن أمامك وربما لديهم اللقاحات في المستقبل يعني سيظهر هذا الأمر بالتدريج لأنهم هم لا يريدون أن ينشروا هذه اللقاحات في الدول المتورطة الآن والمنكوبة كالصين وإيران وكوريا الجنوبية في الوقت الحاضر لأنهم يريدون أولا رفع الأسعار واستخدام الأمر بصورة تجارية لكن نرى أن حتى مقترح المساعدات الأمريكية الأخيرة إلى إيران ارتبطت بمعلومات دقيقة إذا هم يريدون أن يعرفوا كيف ينتشر هذا الفيروس ليستخدمون ليستخدموه في المستقبل في حروب لكن البعض